Hello everyone. Last week we embarked on an unforgettable adventure to the breathtakingly beautiful Kashmir. In this video, we'll take you through our thrilling journey, sharing the must-visit places that left us awestruck, our honest experience, the highs and the lows, travel hacks, costs, tips, and mistakes to avoid, what we wish we had done differently, so you can do it better. So buckle up and let's dive into our Kashmir travel diary. Welcome to Srinagar Airport, a stunning blend of beauty and security. As a defense and civil airport, following rules is a must. But beware, greedy cab drivers await. They'll demand double or triple the fare to take you to your destination, thanks to the unionized monopoly. And don't believe their lies. They'll tell you Ola, Uber is illegal or unavailable. But it's just a trap to extort more money. Here's the hack. Walk just one kilometer to the airport exit, meet your ride outside and save big. Beat the cab cartel and start your Kashmir adventure on a budget. We opted for an Airbnb over hotels, scoring a beautiful budget-friendly spot in a quiet area. But here's the catch. If you want to experience Srinagar's nightlife, book a hotel in Lal Chowk or near Dal Lake. Divide your stay into multiple locations. Two to three nights in Srinagar, one night in Pahalgam, one night in Sonmarg. Do not worry, we are not just throwing suggestions. We learned the hard way and missed out some amazing experiences. We'll share our stories and reasons why we recommend this so you can make the most of a Kashmir trip. Our Kashmir adventure began with a scenic cab ride from Srinagar to Pehalgaon, which cost us around 2600 to 3000 But here's the twist. Pehalgaon's attractions are divided into phases. We only had time for Baisaran, but trust us, Pehalgaon's meadows are stunning. If you're visiting in snow season, stay an extra day to explore all different places. Get ready for breathtaking views. On our way to Dudpatri, we discovered a roadside gym. We enjoyed the famous Makkiki roti and Sarsoka Saag, sitting comfortably on colourful carpets and taking in the fresh air. The scenic drive was breathtaking. Photos cannot capture the beauty. You have to see it to believe it. Finally, we arrived at the Valley of Milk. Srinagar to Dudpatri costs us around 2000 to 4000 rupees. Discuss and agree on the fare before you start your journey. Locals will persuade you to take pony rides to exclusive viewpoints. Do not fall for it. These points are accessible via a short trek. We spent 500 rupees and we weren't at all impressed. On our way back from Dudpatri, we discovered the ultimate relaxation point. We sipped hot kava while dunking our tired legs in icy cold water. Do not be that guy, keep the beauty intact and dispose of trash responsibly. Later in the evening, we visited the famous Dal Lake. During peak season, Shikara rides can cost 500 to 600 rupees each. We took a ride despite the cost as it was a one-time experience. The lake is a home to various houseboats, offering a unique stay experience. If interested, you can stay here and explore the lake's beauty. We saw the floating market, which exists on the top of Dal Lake. Various shops sell local items. We also saw locals growing lotus flowers in a designated area, adding to the lake's beauty. Next day, we ventured to Sonmark, 80 kilometers from Srinagar. But cab drivers only take you to the base point. In order to proceed beyond the base point, you have to pay extra charges to book a different car. Hence, we opted out and headed to Thajivas Glacier instead. Pony unions will insist you to take a ride to Thajivas. Don't fall for it. Trekking is worth it. You'll connect with nature. We trekked to Thajivas and loved every moment. The icy waters flowing from the glacier were mesmerizing. We soaked in the tranquility, then trekked back to Sonmark. On our last day, we explored the local places in Srinagar. First comes the beautiful and peaceful Shankar Acharya Mandir. To reach the mandir, you need to climb 200 steps. The energy here was very pure. People have kept the mandir very clean. You can pause the video and see the history of the mandir too. You can easily see a major part of Srinagar from the top of the mandir. It is a must visit. Next comes the Mughal garden. Here also, cabs won't go directly to the garden. Instead, you need to take a sharing bus or a cab to go ahead. The Mughal garden was very beautiful with lots of flowers. It is a good spot to have a small picnic with your family. Next comes Pari Mahal. The same sharing cab or bus will itself take you to this point and you can spend half an hour here. 
This was beautiful too and you will also see a spot inside Parimahal where you can drink water that directly comes from the glacier. It is pure indeed. We ended our trip at Lal Chowk, Srinagar's lively market. Lal Chowk comes alive at night with colourful lights, lively atmosphere and warm hospitality. You can explore the shops, cafes and local food. As we conclude our Kashmir journey, here are valuable insights to enhance your trip. Spend nights at Pahalgaon, Sonmark and other breathtaking destinations to experience local nightlife and explore. Agree on fares beforehand with cab drivers and horse riders as transportation is a significant expense. Visit from early December onwards and don't miss Gulmar during snow season. Last but not the least, if you have extra days, then you can visit Bungus Valley for its unspoiled beauty, spend the night in Gurez Valley, known for its breathtaking landscapes, since it's far from Srinagar, plan accordingly.